Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do more than that, don't I? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's short and sweet and to the point. Right, and now they feel welcomed. Yeah. So. And we're glad they're here. Yeah, we're glad you're here. Yeah. We're yeah. glad we're here. Yeah, well, we're really glad we're here. Yeah. Because if they weren't here with us, it'd just still be you and I drinking beer. Which is fine. <laughs> Which we're okay with. <laughs> when we started this, we thought, you know, how long can we do this? Well, we were much younger then. Yes, we were much younger. <laughs> and what's exciting about it is each almost week that goes by, there's another brewery. I mean, yeah. a local brewery. You uh, can't hardly swing a dead cat without hitting a brewery. <laughs> yeah, anymore, yeah. especially around us. Yeah. We ought to come up with a segment to, you know, talk about some of our local breweries. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Actually, tonight we're looking at a kind of a local brewery. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's Missouri. It's uh, up by Six Flags. Six Flags or St. Louis, which it's easier to tell people where that is than to say Eureka, Missouri. Yeah, because Eureka is a pretty small town if it weren't for Six Flags. Right. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be a spot in the road for sure if it yeah. weren't for Six Flags. All right. It's time to play Find the Brewery. Is it A? Could it be B? Maybe it's C. If you guess C, well, you missed it. That's the old Pine Valley Mill in Milford, New Hampshire, USA. Built in 1870, it sat empty for years until it was renovated in 2012, becoming the Pine Valley Lofts. B may have fooled you also, and rightfully so. Although it says brewery right on the entrance, this building in Bisbee, Arizona has never housed a brewery. The structure was once an early 20th century stock exchange and is actually located at the foot of Bisbee's historic Brewery Gulch. Ha! Ah, I don't know. But now it's a popular bar called Stock Exchange Bar. Go figure. If you guessed A, great job! This building was the Imperial Brewery in Kansas City, Missouri, USA. Opened in 1902, it was actually built by St. Louis investors after the bridge across the Missouri River opened. It had a capacity of 50,000 barrels of beer a year. As the population of Kansas City doubled in size, so did the need for local breweries. By 1910, the brewing capacity grew to 338,000 barrels a year. There were two popular brews made there, the Mayflower and Imperial Seal, both lager style beers. When the end of day whistles blew at the area factories, workers would gather to throw back a cold one. Sadly, the Prohibition Age was a death blow to the brewing industry, and in 1919, the building was turned into a flour mill. It remained so until 1985, when it finally closed its doors for good. How sad. So here's one we've been talking about. This yes. is coming out of Melbourne, which actually started, I guess, in Wyoming. Yeah. And now we have this local thing in uh, Eureka, Eureka, Missouri. Yeah, they actually started back in uh, Wyoming in 2009. Oh, cool. So, you know, and it's one of those, it's one of those craft brewers that, you know, they want to do something different. You yeah. Know, they were, they love beer and they wanted to, you know, basically be a keyhole into the beer future. Yeah, well that's cool. Yeah, and I thought that was cool. And I think we've done seven different reviews of them. Yeah, yeah um, make sure you go to freebeerwithcharlie.com, check out our reviewed beers. And this is, I believe this will be our eighth beer from uh, Melvin Brewing yeah. on Big Al's Head. Um, in good company, we've had a couple that we weren't crazy about, but that's but most okay. Of them have been... But most of them have, we've put at threes, fours, and fives. Yeah. So, that's you know, that's that's good beer. That says a lot. Well, let's see what we can do with this one. Yeah, let's just, let's just get it out and we'll start it. So what's this called? This is called Galactic Compass. Oh, okay. And it's, <laughs> wow. it's a double IPA. Wow. I mean, their labels are phenomenal. These are, I wish you could get posters of these. I mean, yeah. the detail. Once again, getting back to our craft brewers, I mean, they they had to have had some pre-thought in all this when they started because they even do an artist series on their labels. So they yeah. bring in different artists and come up with these, uh, I mean, I think they're awesome labels.
I believe this is coming in at 8% by volume. Woo, okay. So yeah, this is this is not gonna be for the, the little ones. Yeah. This will be for the big ones. <laughs> so anxious to try it. So let's And that's just, a what a 16 ounce? Yes. And once again, thank God for our craft brewers. Yeah. They don't believe in those 12 ounces. They're not afraid to <laughs> give us the beer. So let's just see what we got here. If I can keep from spilling it all over. We'll just spill out of your half. <laughs> I'm trying to give you more. I've been bad all this time about <laughs> hogging it all for me. Ah, uh, you can't help it, Charlie. I did. I did pretty I good. I think you closer. did real good. That's eight percent. Look at the head on that. Golly, it's got a little haze to it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Wow. Just, I mean, looking at it, that's a nice, nice color. That's such a golden color. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous beer. Oh, it, it's oh, got a white nice. head and it smells good. Yeah. A little yeah. Uh, floral, a little citrusy. You got a little mixture there of. Uh... Yeah, it's almost a almost a pine even. Now is this? Uh, yeah, that is kind of a pine. Yeah. Is this a double IPA? Yes. Or, this uh, is double? this is a double. This okay. is a double IPA, and that's definitely a, a great smell. Let's take a sip and see sure. what we think. Nice. It's a bit hoppy. It's a good flavor, but it's the flavors of those hops are uh, sweet and yeah, and do, together good. And do you know what the hops are in this? Let's see. It's got uh, Citra, Motica, and uh, another one. Galaxy. 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 Yeah, that's the other one. The, Makes sense. Yeah. Cosmic Galaxy. Yeah, get it. Hmm. But you know it's a. Ooh, boy, that is. That's good. This is actually a, an interesting one to try to describe for our, our free beer community because, like Big Al said, it you get a real hop, mm -hmm. but it's so smooth and dissipates so fast. And then the crazy thing is, are you getting any alcohol? No, I never really thought about that. I was getting a p bit of a creaminess, you know, and I never yeah. can figure out how they do the creaminess without putting cream in it. But but to me, that's what makes it so smooth. It's mm -hmm. it's literally like a creaminess, like you said. Mm -hmm. But that creaminess into that hop, and then it's gone, and you don't get the alcohol. This is another one that's kind of scary. I mean, 8%. Yeah. And speaking of that, what do you think on categories? Oh, man. It's complex. I mean, there's a lot of... I mean, look at the lace on that. Right. I mean, that's amazing. But and, I could guzzle this. I mean, it's... Um, I hate to say it, but I think this is only like our second beer that was a complex guzzler. Yeah. And I'd say it's refreshing. Sure. Yeah. I mean, how that's, does that happen? Well, I guess twice. That's how I was going to say, happens. I think this is only our second one yeah. that we've ever had that happen. Well, you got to be careful guzzling that, though. Yeah. You guzzle one of them, though, maybe. That's it. Hey, that's 16 that's ounces? That's the next one. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that tough anymore. I, yeah. I'm not going to I'm not going to guzzle but a couple of those and be done. Yeah. So for all the moms and dads and anybody of legal drinking age, next time you're at Six Flags there or just outside of St. Louis, swing by, get in there, check out the brew pub and pick one of these up. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely, it's definitely worth trying. This is a good beer. What are you going to give that overall? I'm gonna have to say, I really think it's got enough wow factor, enough flavor, enough balance. I think it's a five. I was gonna say that too. I think that's perfect. I, I just, I, it's a very impressive beer. Yeah. I mean, for the oh, alcohol, yeah. for the alcohol content with it being a, a complex guzzler and refreshing, I mean, that's, it's good beer. Yeah, definitely. It's a big out. Charlie? Here's to God, guns, and rock and roll. Amen. Amen. Oh, I yeah. can't. I still can't believe it's eight percent. I know. Just can't. Don't taste the alcohol at all. Just no. Don't really. It just seem to be there. Yeah. It just doesn't seem to be there. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, hope you check out our other videos. Let's uh, check out our uh, website for how we rated Melvin. Yeah. On and some other videos. Or yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Make make sure you go to freebeercharlie.com. Check out our reviewed beers. Um, these guys are are coming yeah. out with some good beer. Yeah. Definitely. So definitely worth checking out for our yeah. free beer community. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget, this is Charlie. And this is Big Al. See you next time. Getting back to our... That right there? <laughs> <laughs> that thing right there? I lost it. It's hoppy, but it dissipates so wet. So... Wet? It wish a wish So Charlie, what do we know about this beer? Well, this is coming out of Quebec, Canada. The company is Unibro, which <laughs> meets one bro. <laughs> so Charlie, let's tell them a little bit about this beer. 
Yeah, now this is coming out of Quebec, Canada. It's called... <laughs> Sorry. Coming out of cool. Canada. <laughs> it didn't come out at all. Um, it's called Unibrow. Yeah, now they've been at a... Unibrow! <laughs> this will take all night. So Charlie, what's the alcohol content on this one? Um, this one's around 4.0. Oh. <laughs> 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 